Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, I'm gonna show you how to never have to purchase another stock image ever again. We're gonna use mid-journey for the most part, and I'm also gonna teach you a technique using ChatGPT. ChatGPT, of course, is free, and I'm gonna show you how to combine these two in just a couple of minutes so that you can create unlimited, amazing images. And let me back up what I'm saying here. Here's one of a photograph of a businessman reading a book on the subway. That's the prompt I put in and look at the quality of these images. This is absolutely unbelievable. If you look at these images here, like this one, like this is crazy. You can see the details right into his hair. You can see he's got the right number of fingers and thumbs, something that AI image generation, the shadows, this is just absolutely amazing and i'm going to show you how to do it so yeah you're going to save a lot of money watching this let's get going all right the first step is we're going to click on my google chrome here we're going to go into chat gpt now i'll put a link in the description how to get here but basically if you don't know it's just a free uh just just a free basically a bot where you could talk to it and it can talk back to you and give you ideas so what i want to do is i want to train chat gpt as quickly as possible on the things I want to see in a good stock image. And I already have the formula, so I'm going to give it to you here. I'm gonna copy and paste this here, but what it is is I basically say, the following is a mid-journey prompt formula. I want a photograph of a subject doing something in a certain type of background during a specific time of day with a specific type of lighting, with a type of lens and a type of camera, you can, and even naming the lens itself. So again, this is photographic stuff, uh, stuff that you don't need to worry about unless you're a photographer and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about here, but that's the formula. The next step is you need to basically go and create a new chat. So once you've got that formula, copy it and then copy and paste it in to a new chat like I've done here. And again, this will be in the description below. Then hit enter. Notice at the end of it though, it says, do you understand the formula? So I basically asked ChatGPT to acknowledge that it understands what I'm asking. And then ChatGPT GPT says that it's creating a photograph that includes specific details about the subject, action, background, time of day, lighting and camera, lens, etc. Perfect, that's what we want. Now, the next step is we have to determine what type of image are we looking for? So in this case, let's say uh, a businesswoman, create a prompt for a businesswoman uh, using her tablet in an office. This is a standard stock image. You'll see thousands of these online. Hit enter. Notice how I just gave it some basic stuff. It's now going to go ahead and fill in all the things I didn't put in there, like what type of camera, what type of angle of lens, what's the name of the lens, what type of lighting, all in photography firm, uh, terms, which is what I want. Copy and paste this. And now we've got that and we're going into Mid Journey where the real magic happens. In Mid Journey, all you need to do now is go forward slash imagine and copy and paste that in. Now, keep in mind that this is that ChatGPT component is not required. If you're a photographer or if you understand photography, you can just type in what you want it to see and chat and Mid Journey is smart and in most cases it will figure out uh, the type of stuff. But for those of you that are not photographers and don't know all about lighting and shots and all that stuff, don't worry about it. There you go. I've copied and pasted that in. Now, before I hit enter, this is the one part that you might want to be extra careful on. You can set the aspect ratio before you hit enter. So in this case, if you just put it in as is, you're going to get the square image like this. And for a lot of people, that's what you want. But if you want like a uh, a wider landscape image or you want a narrow image depending on what the stock image is for all you got to do is push in dash dash and then type in ar which means aspect ratio hit spacebar and then the aspect ratio you want so 16 9 that is the youtube uh, thumbnail aspect ratio that's a wider angled aspect ratio and it's one of many you could type in whatever you want i'm gonna go 16 9 just to show you how this works i'm gonna hit enter and then I'm going to come back when it's done. I'm going to show you how to make some final changes to it. And then we'll wrap it up. All right, welcome back. So here are the four candidates that it gave me. Let's click on them and see what we got here. Just a quick scan through them. These look really, really good. And they've got a variety of different lights. So that's actually kind of good. So you can kind of take a look at all the different styles here. Now, if you like any of them or all of them, first thing you can do is you can click on the U, which means upscale. So I like the first one. I like the second one. 
and I like the I like the fourth. You know, let's let's do them all. They're all really good. So I'm gonna click on the U, and we're gonna upscale all four images, and it does it very very quickly. Let's click on it. This is a great image. It's even got the right number of fingers and the thumb. Looks good to heat for me. Let's click on this one. This is another really really well done image. And this one here has them using a tablet over top of a over top of their laptop again. Another great image. This is a great image, although the features are a little bit sharp, but that's okay. In most cases, you'll never be able to tell from a distance. And then this one here is another great image. And of course, the next step here though is we've gone ahead and upscaled them, but here's the thing. If there's an image and you like it or you want to change it, I'm gonna show you how to do that now. Click on this one here. This one's really, really good, for example, but let's say we wanna make some small changes to it. I'm gonna click on Make Variations, and this is basically what's called a remix prompt, and then I can go ahead and make changes. So if I go a photograph of a businesswoman typing on her tablet, okay, great, but here's the thing. Maybe I don't want a Sony mirrorless Canon or Sony mirrorless camera. I want a Canon Mark IV, so I'm gonna go ahead and delete Sony mirrorless, I'm gonna write in here a Canon EOS Mark, oh, EOS, EOS Mark IV. So I've changed the type of camera from a Sony to a Canon. That's all there is to it. If I want it to be, instead of up and down, instead of a landscape 16.9, I want it to be like TikTok friendly, I would go AR916 instead. And basically I've gone ahead and just made changes and that's it. This is all there is to it, and then it'll come back with some more options, and that way you can have stock, better than stock images dialed in exactly the way you want them using Midjourney and ChatGPT. Thanks for watching.